In this video, we are going to have two parts of information. The first one is how do you get access to Lemoyne's virtual desktop so you can use AJ app and then create a class diagram using software ideas uh, modeler. The second part is how you can actually use the software to create class diagram. So we will start with the first part. Please open any browser on your uh, local machine when, that you're using at home and then type in Lemoyne virtual desktop. Click on the first selection. Once you're in here, it will ask you to type in your username and password. So you can type in your username and your password and click login. Now you, uh, you have login and then you will see the similar selections that you usually will see if you're using a computer on campus. So choose MIS ACT lab, click that. Click OK so that you will log in to the virtual desktop. Okay, now that we have logged into our account, we can click uh, AJ Apps to start the second part, which is how to use Software Idea Modeler to create a class diagram. So let's click, double click on AJ App. And search Modeler. And launch the app. Click Continue. Save it. Click on here to open the software. So you can click, now that you have opened the software, you can either click here, new, or click down here, create new project, or you can click from the file and then generate the new project. So we will just click here and create a new project, and then we will select class diagram. So now we can start creating the class diagram using the software. The first thing we can do is we can create classes. So let's say we are trying to create a class diagram where a bank can hire multiple employees and then um, the multiple employees can actually uh, help be helping multiple different customers. So how can we do that? So we first draw the class. So for creating a class, we always click on class and then uh, create one on this, this part. So let's say the class name is bank, so we type in bank. So we can click this little icon here to add an attribute for bank. Let's say we have a bank name. And then we can add another attribute, which is bank location. Let's just give it two attributes for now. So now we can uh, add more classes. Let's say, so again, click on class and then drag, um, press down and then drag here to choose whatever size you want for the class diagram. Once you decide the size, you can release your mouse. And then we will type in, we can have, uh, one bank may have uh, many different, let's say, employees and then for employee we can have the attribute of maybe employee ID we can have like employee name we can have maybe uh, employees phone number so let's draw another class which is the customers or client we can use client as the name so here will be client so we can add some attributes like client, name, and maybe date of birth, and etc. 
So now we're done with creating all the classes and also their attributes. We can add associations. So how can we add association? Let's say one bank hires multiple employees. How do we do that? So we click on the association and we move to the first class and press down our mouse and drag all the way to the employee. Now we can release our mouse. And this will create a, uh, an association between the bank and the employee. We can type in hires in between to show the relationship. Now, how do we do multiple licities? So let's say a bank can hire multiple employees. So we can, we see the, the little uh, square here. We will double click on it and we can choose uh, one to many since a bank can hire one to many different employee. And let's say one employee can only work for a bank then we will do the same thing for the multiplicity here. So we put one in here. So now let's do the same thing for employee and client. So we will drag from employee to client. So an employee can, let's say, serves or work with, let's say works with. Employee can work with client. So we have mentioned that, oops, Uh, let's drag the client a little bit further so we have more space in here. So let's say um, one employee can work with multiple different clients, so we can put select one to many here. And we also talked about that one in, one the same client might go to different employee at different times, so this relationship could be one to many, so we choose one to many here. Now in class, we have mentioned that whenever you have a many-to-many -many relationship, meaning that it is more than one to more than one relationship, we need to create an association class to record information for this association. How can we do that? So we can click on this line. Now you see it will pop up a green cross. So we will just add this green cross and it will generate the association class for you. So now we can drag it and move it down here and we can call this um, maybe uh, work working low low log or something. Whatever you you might come up with better names than what I have I have in here. And we can add some attributes. For example, in this relationship, we want to know who which employee imp which employee helped which client on what um, bank related issue so we can type attribute as one attribute is the employee uh, id and we also want to have the information on the client so we can type in client name we also might want to know what um, issue is or we can say um, maybe the task we can also have the information on when did this happen, so we might record the time. So these are the basic functions you want to know. You might want to, you might need to know in order to create the class diagrams. Um, now you can start creating the class diagram for your homework. If um, you still feel like it is quite confusing for you about how to come up with the different relationships or how to actually use this software, um, please feel free to come to my office hours or maybe send me an email, uh, we can work on it together. So I hope this video helps. Um, have a great spring break, everyone. Uh, see you very soon.